afternoon, everyone. Today on Cooking with Lucas, we're doing a leftover chicken and vegetable soup, which is a few simple items that you'll find around the house. Stay tuned. Here I've got the leftovers from the chicken that I cooked the other night. It's got all the fixings down in the bottom. There's already carrots, there's peppers, there's onions, there's even a little bit of mushroom down in there. The rest of the bones, the carcass, saved absolutely everything. You can utilize a lot out of a chicken. So here we have our bones boiling away. Now you want to boil these uh, for at least probably a half an hour to get as much of the, uh, the flavoring out of the bone as you possibly can. And here I'll get my uh, vegetables prepped up. I'm adding an extra carrot, some garlic, mushrooms, an orange pepper, potatoes, and leftover beets I had from last night's dinner. And we've been boiling for about a half an hour now. So just going to uh, show you how I separate the meat and all the other good stuff from the uh, actual broth itself. Also, your strainer. So I've got a strainer set up with a bowl. And put that right back on. And then that's on a bowl, plate. That right on there. Dump your broth back in. At this point, you're gonna add more water. And now, ready for all my prepared vegetables. Woo. She's toasty. and just throw all the meat in as you go. And then your leftover chicken goes right in the bowl, or in the pot, from the bowl. And for spices, again, it's a rare day that I don't cook with uh, garlic powder. I've said it before, I've said it again, both my wife and I love it. Give her lots. Again, this vegetable uh, clubhouse uh, seasoning, fantastic. Some of that in there. One thing that's weird, most people probably don't do, complete peppercorns. Not too many, but it's always great whenever you get a little bite and you, uh, and you hit a peppercorn. And then again, my basil and oregano. Last thing I do, I add a cup of five minute rice. 